We are outside the MBX Films Theater, now showing Rogue One figures. We have a bit character in Rogue One, kind of a small, small-time character, you probably never heard of him. Darth Vader. Vader? I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, he was just in this movie a little bit. We'll talk about his role in the movie and why you might want the Rogue One version of his figure. Judging from his bio, seems like a pretty important character, so... Yeah, let's open him up. And we have a a jellyfish, perhaps. So I guess this is the effect for his missile launching gauntlet. It's like hooks on the arm. Holds his little handle, I suppose. And let me guess. Is this a flick? Oh, meow. It's a flicker. Great. Terrible launching mechanism for the flick, but whatever. This character did not use this apparatus in the film, but it's a pretty cool effect. It's like soft plastic. You could probably do something with this dark force energy or something, some kind of explosion effect, or just a straight up alien. You can kind of put it on there and get some dark force shield or something, he's blocking some laser shots, I don't know. You can get something out of that. That's something. Not a lot, but it's something. Great, so this is Darth Vader. He's... Got his cape, pops right off there. He has this kind of inner skirt, inner cloak piece that's on there permanent. Uh, the cape does fit on there pretty nicely. I mean, it's not gonna come off on accident. So this was a pretty mysterious character. We didn't get much info on this guy other than he came out of a tub of water and he ordered the main villain of the film around. It's almost like you had to know beforehand who this was or something to figure out what was going on. Alright, I'm just pretending like I don't know who Darth Vader is. If you're tired of that charade. It makes sense to get Vader a figure with the line just because same reason they put him in the movie. For some serious familiarity with the audience. And of course, to get your heavily craved scene where he's slicing all the rebel troops up. Although there was no rebel troops released with Rogue One figures, so can't really recreate that scene. The lightsaber hilt is all painted. I mean, older figures never had details like that on them. Despite this being a five points of articulation figure, not bad. Other hand's kind of a force effect, although you can't do the curled version that he did do to Krennic. He was choking behind his back. Uh, nothing super special about this Vader. It's just just another Darth Vader action figure. There are many. But I guess we can use this one for Rogue One because he doesn't do a whole lot but stand there, talk, do a little choking, and a whole lot of slicing. But we don't have any rebel troops for him to slice. You'll have to get those from another line, not Rogue One. There is a lot of mystery about his kind of castle there. I'm sure there's probably more written somewhere of what Disney says was going on there, but something about it was built on top of another older castle that has dark secrets in it. So I don't know. This He bulldozed another castle and built his own castle on it. Classic Darth Vader, I guess. No, Vader. No, not that. Yes, that. Oh, darn. And that's why you don't like the flick mechanism for a missile. For that reason. 